All right, guys, welcome back. Today we are talking about the NES Maker on Kickstarter. I came across this through a friend of a friend that shared a little post on Facebook. And I, I've been wanting to do this since I was like 15 years old, is make my own NES games. And these two guys... Our tool to create brand new cartridge-based hardware playable NES game. Came up with a way for you to be able to do that. They break it down so simply that people have never, they don't even know anything about software, hardware, any of that have been able to contribute to making these games that these guys have. And what it is, is it's a software that allows you to build different parts of the game and flash it onto an NES cart so you're able to play it. And I'll throw up a little video here just so you can kind of see the, the Kickstarter program announcement. Tell your story on Real Nest Hardware with an intuitive front-end interface. They pledged a, a goal of $32,000 in 30 days. They're at $60,757 right now with 595 backers, and they have 25 days to go, which when you're seeing this, they have 23 days to go. But just to give you guys an overall view, so you can pledge $5 just showing support. You can pledge $36, which just gets you the software. You can pledge $88, which gets you the entire kit, the hardware, the software, everything you need to build your own NES games. And then it goes on from there, you know, $256, and then it goes up for more and more stuff. But $88 for everything you need. Now, this item says that it's estimated delivery on August or in August 2018. But I'm super excited because I have so many ideas. I've been wanting to make a black box video game store game for the longest time. And I'm actually going to wait for this to come out to do it because I think this is an awesome idea, easy to use. And I am super excited about that. But I'm sure Dutch is excited. I want to hear what he has to say. I am. I'm, I'm like you. I've been wanting to do this kind of thing since I was a kid. But I am... Uh, technology is... like The stuff catches on fire when I try and do stuff. With <laughs> it, it, it's not pretty. But I've got all these ideas. And it, it would be great to actually turn it into a game of my own. And some of you guys out there are the same way. You're super artistic. You're really creative and so on and mm -hmm. so forth. But you don't know how to code software. I don't know how to code software. I barely understand how uh, homebrews are even made. But with something like this, you can actually take your own idea. You can be in complete control of it. And you can actually put that onto an NES cartridge, which to me just blows my mind. People like us... Not all of us, mind you, but people like us will be able <clears throat> pardon me, will be able to put out these games that we would have never seen before. It also means that we are going to have a high influx of shovelware. That is true. But we were going to have that anyway. You're not playing Jaws. So just ignore the shovelware, play the great games, and once it gets to eighty thousand dollars, there's a shmup module. That's awesome. I would like to see the shmup module. Oh, I didn't even notice they had that. Yes, they did. So each level gets you a different, like, if well, they, once they hit $68,000, there's brawler mode? Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, they've got the adventure module, the platformer module, and the RPG module. Uh, Which are all unlocked already. already. Unlocked, yeah. And then the brawler module and the shooter module are uh, still to come at 68000 for the brawler and 80000 for the shmup. Wow, that's and really cool. And they're all, it, it's not, again tech stuff and i'm going to butcher this trying to explain it but the shmup module you don't necessarily have to use just for shmups you can do some kind of i don't know computer box magic stuff and turn it into <laughs> some kind of other magic. game yeah from the magic computer box yeah, that answers yeah. all the questions oh okay things. yeah oh you mean google yes that oh that, okay that thing. yeah <laughs> it could potentially be really super cool and even with the shovelware, I would love to see it. I would even like to play the shovelware. Speaking of shovelware, this is the last thing I have to say. But John Riggs, who's an awesome guy, mm. awesome channel. He's been doing really this for... a nice guy. He's a really nice guy. He's been doing this for a while without mm. all this stuff. He has his own you know, system and whatever he does. But he made this one game, and it took fire, at least on my Facebook page, where he made a Shovel Knight cart, an NES game, and he put Shovel Knight, you know, sticker Shovel Knight on there. Like the way it was intended to be. Like when people thought of Shovel Knight, they thought of NES. But the funny thing is, is when you popped it in and turned it on to play it, it was an actually, you were getting Rick rolled in 8-bit. <laughs> How do I not hear about it? <laughs> it's so awesome. Oh. All right, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Chocolate rain. It's the game so 
Bye.